Good afternoon. This is our second update from the physics lab where Tom Campbell's variations of the double slit experiments are being set up and will be conducted by Dr. Barbut Koshnud with his research assistant, David Chartran. Thank you all for allowing me in to drop in on your meeting today. We want to bring the experiments backers, the supporters of QSAC, and the science community the latest information on the progress of the experiments. So, Tom, I will turn the meeting back to you. Well, Farbot was just uh, telling me about the new equipment he's got. He's, over the last couple of weeks, has it set up. And what you're seeing on the screen is um, two detectors, detector A and detector B, and then coincidence counts um, AB. Now, you're seeing so many counts because the lights are on. <laughs> Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see uh, Farbot. So he has to turn off the lights and do some other things. And uh, we have yet some alignment problems and uh, some uh, equipment issues. But we're getting closer to getting this thing to work. At least we hope we're getting closer. It seems like the number of issues are getting smaller and smaller. So that's a good sign. So maybe right. in the next couple of weeks, we'll... Uh, We'll, uh, we'll see some, some better results. So, yes, thank you, Tom. So since last time, so we still have the similar uh, equipment on the, uh, on the table, but then now we have, in addition to what we had last time, uh, so we, ha we are now connected through the interface and through the detector. So this is a detector that we, we got recently and now we are testing our, uh, our, our setup using the new equipment. This is a, what is called Excelitus photon counting module, which is uh, much more powerful or efficient, we can say, than the previous one that we had. So we will get a better result. So our, basically, when we detect the photons coming from the laser and from the crystal over there, then we did basically they go to what some kind of filters as you see here go through these two filters and from the filters they go to some collimators at the back of it and the collimators are connected through the cables to the detector the new detector here the detector is connected through some kind of interface on electronics to a to a device that does the counting of the photons and find out if they are entangled, entangled photons or not. Yeah, that's the coincidence. That's the coincidence counter. Mm -hmm. The coincidence counter now is connected to a laptop, which is here. And this is what you see on the screen also. This is the result. So we get the, the counts on A, as you see, so there are many counts and you see on B many counts, and then you have A, B column, which is the coincidence. Now, if I turn the light off, then they go down. Okay, so they go down, as you see, to, to very kind of much smaller numbers as we expect. So there, now at this, at, at this time, we get some photons that are in the range of 5,000, 6,000, 5,000 for A, about 6,000 for B. Now, here we are expecting to get coincidences between the photons when they go to do different detectors A and B. So they can say that, we can say these photons are, co there are coincidences, so they are entangled basically. So at the moment, we don't get so much uh, data on the coincidences, so we need to do more uh, adjustments and alignments of the uh, optics equipment, as well as the adjustment of the, the coincidence counter, which is that device, that the FPGA device that I showed earlier. So, so these are the latest updates. Okay, so 
just wanted to share with you the latest work. Yeah. And I might uh, tell, tell the listeners that uh, it looks like those detectors are connected by wires, but that's not the point. Those aren't wires. Those are, um, you know, light pipes. Five, five, yeah, the fo fiber optics. Photons, yeah, the, fo the photons are running down those fiber optics and going to the detector. So if you're wondering why the detector is sitting over on a, you know, on a shelf nearby, that's why we're moving the photons around with uh, uh, special plastic tubes that will move the light through them without uh, any absorption. Correct. So, yeah, so that's what's going on. That's why the detector can sit over there on the side and those little reddish, orangish things are fiber optics. Correct. Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention that in case the people listening yeah, are, are uh, confusing those with wires and wondering what's exactly. going on. Sure, thank you. Okay, so we are very excited working every day, making small progress every day and getting closer and closer. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> excited about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's about it, Donna, unless you have other uh, questions for us. No, Tom, that's pretty exciting just in itself to see that new equipment and how you're coming along with it. That's just wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, Fabot, David, and Tom, I'm sure the backers and the science community will be very excited to see this. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.